This video tutorial is intended to help understanding of item ownership within DDM, the ability to reserve items for modification. So within DDM to modify an item such as a document or a drawing then we must have it reserved. So in DDM each user has a workbench and if we search across workbenches we can see all of the users workbenches in the system. If I take a look at my own workbench then I can see that I already have a document reserved to my workbench so we can see that we have a padlock against the item which means in relation to my workbench I have this item reserved. As soon as I have an item reserved then I can make changes to it. So that means we can make changes to the native document and store it back to DDM. It means that we can modify the properties of the item. So the, the metadata, the attributes of the document. But it also means that we can change, if we have permission, we can change the status of the item. So we must have items reserved to, to modify the document, the document properties, or the status of a document. So how do other users in the system know that I have this document reserved? Well, if we do a search for some documents, then the document that I have reserved is listed in the search results as reserved by Mark. So other users in the system can see that I have the document reserved. If we took, take a look at this document, then another user already has this reserved. So even though it's work in progress, if I look at the properties of it, I don't have permission to make changes to it. And we can see by looking at the properties window that the OK button is greyed out, meaning that I don't have any modification rights on the document. There will be times when we want to collaborate on a document or a model that we're working on, and so we will need shared ownership of the item. And in this case, we can use project folders. So if I have a look in my project folders, you'll see that we have this project folder that is owned by engineering. If I'm a member of the engineering department, I'll effectively have the keys to the project folder and we'll be able to access the files within it. It happens that I've pinned this folder so that we can see uh, this PX1017 folder as well as my workbench and we'll come back to that in, in a moment. But if we go back to the search that we previously had then I can see that we have this test specification at a work in progress state in the project folder. Now if I want to work on that then I can reserve that item to my workbench and we can see that the item is now reserved to my workbench so I have the permission to make changes and modify the document and we can see that the OK button is active. If we have a look at this from my pinned folders then we can see the item uh, is reserved to my workbench and if we look in the project folder we can now see that the item has been reserved from the project folder to Mark who will be working on it. When I've finished working on it then I can simply reserve it back to the project folder. And so if we have a look in here again the project specification is now reserved back to the folder still at a work in progress state and is available for one of the other project team members to, to work on it. There is a reference copy left on my workbench that when I finished with I can just simply say remove this from the folder and it removes it from my workbench. If we again search, do a general search for documents with this search term then we have another document here that is at a work in progress state but that is owned by the quality department and if I'm not a member of that department then I don't have permission to work on that document. So again if we have a look at the properties of the document we can see that the OK button is greyed out. If I try and reserve this to my workbench then the item 
remains reserved by the quality department and I still don't have permission to make any changes to the document. Finally, if we have a look in the project folder, you'll see that there is a released item in the project folder. Because the item is released, it is effectively protected by the access controls in DDM and I'm not able to make changes to it. So if we look at the properties of the item, the OK button is greyed out. And even if I reserve this item, which I'm able to do because I'm a member of the engineering department, even if I reserve this item to my workbench, then if I look at the properties of it, I'm still not able to make changes to it. So we're going to remove this from the folder to keep my workbench tidy and the item remains referenced in the project folder. So a short tutorial on item ownership within DDM the items that we can reserve to our workbench and modify and items that might be owned by other users that we are unable to modify or items that have been set to a state such as released that prevents us making any further changes to these items.